Hi, my name is Rev.com, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a swear filter or a bad words filter. Um, pretty much the same thing. Um, so what I've got here um, in a in a database, um, I've got a table called bad words, and if you just browse it, it's just a list of um, a column just full of words uh, and bad words in there, or swear words. Well, mainly bad words because um, some of these are not really swear words. Um, I think there's actually about 300 in there. I've got 14 pages of 30, so if you do the math, um, I'm not going to do the math, but anyway. Um, so, um, I will provide an SQL um, file, so you can just go to um, the uh, create a table with just Word. Um, Actually, I'll just show you how to do. Just create the table now. Um, so forget about all these four. We only need one. Just create one called Word, and um, put that as a var chart, and put the length as I don't know about 25, and then click Save. And then once you've clicked Save, um, all right. So I've not created a table name. So I'm just going to put Test Table. Um, and click save on that um, and then once this all updates test table here um, got no data in it all you have to do then is go to import and um, browse that uh, the SQL file I've got it up here it's um, an SQL file um, so once you downloaded that I'll also provide the the raw text file I actually got this off the internet but it had a lot of mistakes in it um, duplicate words and um, some other stuff so I've um, edited that and made it a lot better and um, so I'll also provide you with the raw text file as well but um, the, it's the SQL file that we're going to be using um, and then you just click make sure SQL is selected in the format and just click go and that will then run that file and put all the uh, the words into um, the table well it should do it might have put them in this one actually bad words yeah it has um, so let me just actually if I just delete these two drop that I'll actually I'll show you how to create create the table now then um, so what you're going to do is type in bad words for the table name make sure you type in bad words um, otherwise you'd have to uh, edit out the uh, SQL file um, one column and then just like we did before word bar char put it as 25 click save on that I um, don't know what that's about um, so now we've got um, a table here then just do what I have just did before select the SQL file uh, make sure SQL is selected and click go and then that will then put all them words into the bad words table just like that and it should be about 14 pages alright so enough of setting up the uh, table in the database let's get straight into the actual um, making the filter so as you can see we've just got a blank page up here um, I'm going to go into Dreamweaver now and in here first of all we need to actually connect to the database so my scroll will connect um, so it's three parameters. Um, the first one is the host, so I'm using localhost, and then the sec second one is the username, and the third is the password. But because I don't have a password, mysql underscore select underscore db. You should know how to do all this stuff, really. Um, the database is called Bad Words Filter. That might not be your database name, but that's mine. But the table name must be Bad Words, just uh, keep in mind that. Um, otherwise you'd have to start changing that um, SQL file or create your own from the text file I'm going to give you um, and I'm just going to create a string here just for the testing purposes you would probably use um, something like um, dollar underscore post um, and then the comment or something from uh, whatever's posting through but I'm just going to keep this in a string and just keep it in the same file just to keep things 
nice and clean for now. And I'm just going to put in there something like this is a Okay, so we've got something like that, and we should get this being filtered out and this being filtered out um, once we get through it. Um, so now what we need to do is actually um, convert every word in this to an, to an array. Um, so to do this, I'm just going to put something like string underscore to underscore array, just so we know what's going on. And to do this, we use the x explode function. Um, now this takes two parameters. The first one is what do we want to um, separate them by. So as you can see um, the words are separated by a space here. This is why this is only simple and will cause problems because if someone just puts something like not a space in between the two words then it will just treat that as one word and um, it's not it's not going to find it, or something like a dot, something like that, or a dot like that, because then um, this followed by a dot is not in the database. So you can add these to the database, but um, this is basically a simple checker checking for words separated by space. So we have a space in a string, and then where do we want to find this from? And that's the uh, string um, there. So now we have this as an array. Now to show you this in the array, we can use print underscore r and then put in there string underscore to array. Now this will print out um, what we had as an array. So in position 0 we have this, position 1 is, is, 2 is a and so on. So now we can see that each word has been put into one array with different keys. Um, so now back into Dreamweaver, we can actually get rid of this, this was just uh, to show you. Um, so now we need to create a for each loop to run through each of the words in the array. So for each, and we're going to do um, string underscore to array, so the array we want to select as word. So this will run through each word in that array and put them into a word variable. Um, so now we're just going to create a quick query here. And that query is going to be equal to mysql score query. And then it's select. Um, we could probably use all. Select all from bad words. So the table name bad words. Where. Oops. Where. Word is like you could probably use equals um like with the uh wild card the uh percentage and um, that probably won't work um but I, i'm pretty sure that like and equals would probably do the same thing but i'm just going to keep it as like just so we can get an idea um so like um and then um word in there not capitals though. Okay, um, and then we're going to create a while loop inside this for each loop. So it's going to be a loop inside a loop, basically. Um, so, and this is just basically the standard way, well, my standard way, what I do, of getting um, data from a database. Okay, um, and then in here we're going to have word underscore found. And that is going to be equal to row um, word. So basically, what's happening here is it's getting each word from the array. So this, it's running it through this query. And um, because this is not in the database, it will just sort of, it will ignore this while loop. And it will go on to just going past the while loop. We're going to have quite a few um things in this while loop now because this is what in this while loop is what we're going to do now if a word is found if I'm not word is found it's just going to ignore it and go on to the next word until each word has been compared to the database so for example this is not in the database so it will not do 
whatever's in this while loop now, it will just skip the while loop and echo out the string as we're going to do later on. Um, so under this now, we're going to select new, new words, and this is going to be um, what we want to replace the word by. So we're going to use the p reg underscore replace. Now this is um, a replace for regular expressions. Um, now I'm not too good in regular expressions, so what I'm going to actually do is just copy over um, the the regular expression from what I have. Um, so the regular expression is actually this. Um, if someone could tell me what I know what it does, but I don't know how it works. I suppose that's a good way of saying it. Um, but basically, it's going through each word. Um, so let's just let's just create it first, so we can actually see. Um, I want to replace it by star, and that's in um, word underscore found. All right. So what technically is happening here? Um, we're going to look in. We're going to look on the word found. So each word. So, for example, this word up here will get put into this variable. So, I'm going to modify the word fucking and replace all characters apart from the first and the last with a star. So, it'll end up being like this. F. It'll end up being like that, okay? That's basically what it's doing. It's replacing the first. It's replacing all the characters apart from the first and last one with a star. Okay, so now what we're going to actually do is um, we need to actually get the key from the current array. So we're going to use array underscore search. Um, we're going to search for the word that's found in the in the actual original array. So we're going to see whereabouts in the original array that word was. It's because we need to know where it was originally so we can replace it. And then we're also going to get the, the length of the word. So str len. Um, and that's word, word found. But we also, but we need to minus one off that because um, if you probably know that arrays start at zero, not one. Okay. Um, next thing we need to do is now actually replace this word now. So replace, but we're not replacing it yet. We're just getting the uh, actually. Actually, yeah, we'll replace it. So array. Um, so the key, and that's going to be going to the new underscore word. All right. So what's happening here is um, we're creating another array. So let me just actually print this out so you can see. So print underscore r. We're basically creating an array with the words that are going to be found. So if I echo, if I refresh this, as you can see, we've created another array with them two words that are found, and it's put them in key three and key six because that's where they were originally in the original array. Okay. Um. So. That's created that second array. Now we can, um, so string to array. So we're going to replace the array originally equals array underscore replace. Now bear in mind that um, array underscore replace doesn't actually change color in uh, Dreamweaver. I'm not sure why because it's not that old of a function. It's new to PHP 5, but um, we're quite far into PHP 5 now, so, but it still does work, so just 
if you're using Dreamweaver or something and it doesn't change colour, just stays black, don't worry, it will work. Unless you've not got PHP 5 installed. Um, but it's it's not it's not that new. Um so the first one is the original array, so string underscore two underscore array. And we're going to replace whatever's in there with whatever's in this one. Okay, so you'll you'll know what happens now. Replace the third key in the original array with what's in this array here, and because we had another one of the um, the six key. So zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes. Um, with that, so now. Actually, we're done in the while loop, so we've replaced the entire array. So now, if we come out of all the loops, so down here, so outside of the for each loop and the while loop, outside of all loops, just start fresh underneath. We're going to create a variable called new string, and that's equal to implode this time because we need to now convert this replaced array back to a string so it can be shown to the user because if we just print out print well basically if we just echo out string to array if you know about PHP you'll know that this will return an array like there so and then so because this is an array we can use the print underscore r to actually view the contents of the array and this will then print out something like this so we have um, the string in the array with the words censored out so now we need to convert this back to a normal string using implode and to do this um, it's pretty much the same as um, ex um, explode for each space in the array so um, so for each key we're going to separate each key by a space just like that and what do we want which array do we want to use and that's um, string to array and um, so now basically we can just echo out new string and this will then echo that out it will bring out that statement that has been censored so that's how to create a a basic um, swear word filter um, it does have a few problems for example if I go into Dreamweaver and put let's say a dot after that swear word there um, as you can see, it doesn't censor that out now because um, followed by a dot um, is not found in the database. So that's a problem, but as you can say, as you can see, it, it does work with just standard words, and it should be able to get you on your way to creating to at least get you started to creating a swear word filter. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.